Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I got Siri here. How, how you doing, Siri? Um, I'm all right. A bit sore, but we'll make it through. I brought Siri here because he's been, as you can see, helping out and uh, kind of been my crutch, honestly, and keeping me up to date with everything going on in Summoner's War. All right, so balance patch just came out. I got to hear about it. So I brought in Siri, and uh, I guess I can get my impressions and my reactions to it as well. Lay it down on me, man. What's uh, What's been happening? So this is the balance patch following SWC, so it will tend to be a bit bigger, right? The, the one before this, we, we we briefly went over. It was like not not as huge. It was a bit disappointing for some people, but this one... Everything hitting is a, bigger than the last one. This, this, any any balance yeah, patch yeah. is honestly bigger than the last this one. This one hitting a lot of like troubling units, powerful units that were being used like very frequently. Uh, some weird changes, but uh, we'll go over them, right? We'll talk about them. Let you know what's yeah, been let's happening. Start off, let's start off. I actually, I actually heard from a couple different people. Uh, def <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Wind Sky server actually got a buff, right? Tell me about that. Hmm. So it didn't. Oh, really? I thought it was a, like a super underwhelming unit or something like that. I, I kind of just got him recently. I haven't even really got to use him that much, man. Well, I swear. Okay. You're not going to be liking the rest of the patch then. It's not a huge change, but it does mean that he'll be able to infinite less. It's a nerf to his skill three. So before you would deplete 100% of their ATB, no matter what, and then you absorb 100% absorb, even though there's no eight attack bar there. Uh, so you could, you could just go over and over and over and over again on a unit if you just kept violent proccing right. But now you have to be a bit more, make a bit more decision Selective. with like, yeah, yeah, with like which target you're trying to hit with your skill three to try and get the max value of your turn meter and stuff like that. I it's guess that could be kind fair. of interesting because it's, it's a nerf, right? It's, yeah. it's a nerf, but is there any way where it could, I guess, situationally be beneficial? Because instead of like dealing attack bar and going right away, what if you can choose a target that has a certain amount of attack bar and puts you in that position to be able to cut or move at that exact timing? I, I think there can be a niche beneficial use of it, right? Obviously, you have to be a little bit more five head or does that make... I think sense, so. the, the niche benefit of that situation will be strictly outweighed by the fact that you can keep going over and over and over and over and over True, and over that's, again. That's, that, that sounds pretty solid. Uh, what about the next unit? I heard... My Dark Bison, right? Second LD-5 got a buff. Tell well, me. it did get a buff two patches ago, and now it's being nerfed. Bro, we literally did a video on it, and you literally... If you guys don't know, I let Siri do an account takeover. If you missed that video, check that video out. But he did an account takeover, and it was terrible. He, he Either A, I, I mean, I don't think he was using it wrong. I was looking at it. It's just... I guess maybe we got unlucky, but I mean, it didn't seem that crazy. Look, look, so, look, 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 listen. Why listen. am I getting a nerf, bro? Listen, listen. So in that video, I got hit by Dominic S1 and it got anti-heal, right? So it's basically no fucking difference, all right? Now we just can't heal no matter what. It's like Dominic S1 permanently. So that's it. They just took away the heal. It's still an insane control unit, but you just can't 1v4. A lot of nerfs this, this patch, actually. I expected uh, that. Usually after SWC, there's, there's a bunch of nerves. There's always a bunch of nerves. Yeah, Veronica. Uh, currently, the best turn one opener. So before, she would strip everything. 100% ignoring, like, accuracy resistance checks. Strips everything and resets for two turns. Now, it only strips one buff, but it still increases for two turns. Just, like, later on into the game when, like, maybe a Riley does her S3 or S4 um, and Chiwi does his S3 and stuff like that. Or Fran whatever uh it'll be less impactful sure. yeah. i mean there's like what 17 people with this ld nat 5 so i mean it's not that many people so uh, there's a fair few people in china now sure, though sure they'll be fine <laughs> it still doesn't harm her turn one potential anyways like it's still crazy yeah it's tur still turn crazy. one i mean unless you have shield runes, right you, i mean you, come on, you're right? not you will, really using it. shield you runes turn one. In yeah exactly nana got a pretty weird nerf so now when she revives she does 20% HP in front of her five instead of 25. 5% 5 HP nerf, yeah. It was, like dot, it was already pretty insignificant before, and now it's more insignificant. I think the direction sure. they're going with this is incorrect. I don't think the HP, like the quantity of HP that you get after you revive is the issue. It's the fact that she can self revive. I, yeah. I feel if they really wanted to take this avenue and nerf the revival, I think reviving and putting out 1% HP would be interesting. You know what I mean? It, it, make, it makes it less viable uh, if they, they're gonna go this route, but 5%, I don't know, man. Yeah. So. Um, or maybe revive at 5%, you know, something very vulnerable. Sure. People have been saying she shouldn't be able to, she, like, if she were to self-revive, she would take up two soul stones instead of the one that she's given at the start of the game. So she can't immediately self-revive. So you can 
have some avenue of counterplay to like maybe you focus down her immediately and then uh you have to try and protect her so that she can get some value going into the game i think that's a better way of approaching things but Comptor seems to just want to adjust numbers we'll see how this lands i don't think it moves the needle a significant amount uh right. it's I think... nice to see them targeting it though you yeah. know what i mean because Comptor is known to uh you know do some nerfs and then like if it's not enough they actually come back and revisit it yeah, so at least uh, for sure at least we know that they know that it's you know on the block it's or strong the yeah block, so i know that you have not been playing siege but this lady has been dominating the four star towers in siege it only uh, took how many years from her HOH coming out for her to be uh, viable? Yeah, dude. Actually, I man. said all my new mates. Oh my god, I was so upset when I realized. So now, instead of absorbing 25% ATB, you absorb 20%. So instead of like you getting 100% ATB potentially, you get 80% ATB potentially. Cool. All right, what's next? Let's hear the next one. Finally a buff, right? Well, <laughs> okay, so hey gang, his passive used to be you get 25% when you get stripped. Now it's 15, but you also get 15 from when you strip the enemy. I don't know how much it'll affect his performance. He wasn't really being picked before. Yeah, you know what's interesting about this unit is that when this unit first came out, I don't know if everybody remembered, but this was the intended effect we thought it was. Yeah. Was, you know, both. You guys remember that? Like yeah. everybody was just like, Oh my god, this unit is gonna be massive, game changing, right? And then it just turns out that it's just when enemies remove harmfuls. And then it kind of sat for a little while and then still got into the meta. But yeah, so it's it's kind of interesting. I just kind of want to throw that out there that this was what we thought it was gonna do when it first came out. A popular unit that people have been moaning about? The Light Reed. Long. Oh, oh I'm, I'm waiting for the buff. For a Light Reed who got a, got a buff. I think this will probably be the final buff he gets. Uh, so his S3 now also gives himself a crit buff. Crit rate buff. Oh, that's nice. Wait, so, doesn't he crit rate evolve anyways? Or crit rate? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what he awakens into. I'm pretty sure, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm pr pretty casual now, but like some, some, I don't know why. It's just some things just still click in my head the moment I, 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 I hear it. All you need is a defense break to set this thing up. It's pretty self-reliant. It sounds pretty good. And it's, and it's sounds a, solid. it's a light unit. So no glancing, right? On the same line. The Ryu and more, and also Ken got an S2 buff. Instead it is of... crit rate awakening. Haha. <laughs> it is? Sorry. It is? Just take a little while. Yep, 50% crit rate awakening. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's, you that's get, a lot of crit rate. That's just a give lot naturally. of crit rate. You get 60% yeah, crit just out the gate. <laughs> so they made it weird. They give it a chance to. There's like a range of absorb now. So you can go from 10 to 20 instead of just the flat 10% uh -huh. absorb. Absorb enemies attack bar from 10 to 20, 10 to 20%. Per hit. Interesting. It's it's okay. so weird because more is a it popular is a unit. <laughs> I don't know. I think, okay, this is the biggest winner of the patch. So when he specifically, when he procs his passive to counter, uh, he gets extra stun chance. And oh, I, wait, what's his stun chance originally then? Uh, 35. Uh, oh, okay, that's, no, that's pretty no, high. No, 50, 50. It's a 100% chance to stun. Oh, before resistance. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Uh, it's annoying as shit. I've already fought a lot of them. Yeah, that, that thing is really hard to kill sometimes, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it just takes it takes no damage, bro. Mm -hmm. it, just, it doesn't take any damage. Some A few paladin changes. What's it called? Uh... Which one? I forget her name. Josephine? No, no, no. We'll talk about the fire one first. Ophelia. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ophelia got immunity. Bro, I'm the one that doesn't play the game as much anymore, man. What the heck are you doing? I don't, I don't know <laughs> names of relevant units. I mean, irrelevant units. Come on, anyway. man. So Ophelia yeah, got S3, you. got some immunity. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it's pretty, nice. It's I think it was like, what, two turns already before? Yeah. So it's three now? Uh, No, just one turn. One turn immunity. For, for AoE. Oh, AoE. Oh, oh, AoE. Oh, yeah. AoE, oh, yeah. yeah. Grants immunity. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She sees some use in That's Siege. Nice. Uh, now, maybe a bit stronger. And then uh, Josephine. Uh, some people are calling this a buff, uh, which it is if you build a damage because she can. She always crits with S1 now, uh, which is kind of cool. But before Wait. it used to never glance, which means that you could yeah, always land a stun. Yeah, that was the nice thing about her. Yeah. yeah. So it's, oh. a, it's a bit of a balance. So instead of like you always stunning a wind unit, you will always crit a wind unit. Yeah, because the thing was you could you could bring it in and you would be able to use it against wind units. But yeah, yeah. now you it, you won't have that advantage. But if you bring it in any other scenario, you have quite an advantage because the damage is quite high. She's yeah, usually yeah. built on decent crit damage. Mm -hmm. You know, high level ones is actually kind of hurt, man. Interesting. Always lands as a crit, bro. D don't, bro, zero crit rate, one million crit damage. Yeah. <laughs> I f <laughs> we might see some full damage Josephine videos, maybe coming to this channel soon, perhaps? You have yeah, one, right? let's give that a shot. Let's give that a shot. Of course I have a Josephine. 
I mean, you right. say of course, but I've I played on your account and you were missing so many relevant units. Okeanos got a change. Uh, don't know if he'll, he'll see huge usage, but now he strips two time, uh, two buffs with the uh, oh with the S two. So same skill, but he strips two buffs. Yeah, so you still strip nothing. So basically, what it, what happens is you bring him into RTA. You first turn him, and then he still misses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, with additional damage on like a full Swift team, he could see some usage with, with like a lot of DPS. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, there, are, there are situations. Yeah, yeah. Though, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, obviously, but there are situations, especially if you're up against Wusas or you're up against, you know, different comps later on in the battle, right, mm -hmm. that, you know, have uh, multi buffs. You don't yeah. have to worry about, okay, I'm going to try to strip. Please strip the immunity. Yeah. yeah, please, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it will strip too. So it, it's kind of nice. Right? Every, everyone does, suddenly no becomes. Everyone suddenly becomes religious when they're relying on an Okeanos S2. Yeah, Okeanos is like the most YOLO unit. You know what I mean? He's so good, <laughs> but like he's so bad when he's not good. Yeah. I don't know. That, that sounds so stupid, but he's good when he's good and he's bad when he's bad, dude. I don't know. It's like how Sekhmet used to be, but now Sekhmet's good. Uh, Chi, uh, it's not really worth mentioning. Chiwi got some damage. Damage. Uh, uh, that's, that's massive, dude. I mean, yeah, it is. I it's da damage scaling I to I speed. Used that. I could have used that back in the day when I tried um, my uh, damage Chiwi. I mean, yeah, but now you just get damage according to your speed. So you have 320 speed Chiwi, it might do some damage. Uh, so Assassin's got some pretty cool changes. I think Stella's pretty worth men is worth mentioning. Could you could see some sure. interesting uh, cleave comps with her. So now she, instead of reducing attack bar with her s3 she will absorb attack bar oh and she also resets her cooldown when she kills units so you can kind of go over and over and over and over again which is kind of cool uh i don't know That's if cool. it'll have the same effects as old oliver where you could hit a unit with zero atb and then absorb 100 atb out of nowhere usually that's the mechanic unless they but, specify um, otherwise yeah usually that's how the mechanic yeah works. that's usually going to be the mechanic so it, it could be nice we'll see yeah yeah, yeah. uh could see some we'll interesting see. comps with her i haven't played around with her yet so we'll see oh uh, this is worth mentioning the the specifically for south 2a the the fire grim reaper uh it no longer glances with its dot if there's already a dot there okay. so uh nice. people that run the the south tattoo gb12 uh, you can have your Melias move first, apply a dot, and then your Sarth will always land a dot. So it makes that run more consistent. Pretty cool. Some of the Phantom Thieves do a shitload of damage Oh, now. okay. Phantom Thieves? Bro, That those units are like the they're, first they're units in the game. so bro. old. Yeah, they were like the and first they... units that released. Dude, I remember back in the day, like, YD would always use, like, it was it YD always used the Dark One or something just to do damage just for fun? But, like, well, they suck, dude. There, there, actually, there was a time when they were good. Like, the Water One was yeah. very good. Like, or, or back, yeah, back, Lewis, back Lewis still see some use, but yeah. Uh, the, the the Dark One now does even more damage. Surprise, surprise. Uh, okay. So, uh, when you land your crit, your crit damage is now 50% more. Oh, so, okay. That could be pretty massive. That, that, that could be a big new. Yeah, That's a lot. Could be, yeah. It, it, skill 2 has pretty good scaling from what I remember. So, it's a lot of damage. And then, uh, let's see, the Hogs got some cute little changes. Uh, the, the Dark one, if you, uh, is kind of fun. I'm, I haven't personally played with it, but I saw a Sean B video on it or something. Uh, he oh. now, he now has one less cooldown on this skill. Oh no, one more cooldown on this skill. But you gain oh, a turn. Be really good. You gain a turn after using it. So Wait, you can- that's so worth. So you can S3 what? into S2. Which is kind of nice. Wait, they literally added a skill cooldown so that it would be the same cooldown. Yes, but you gain Wait, that's an additional five hit. Yeah. Yeah, but then you get to attack again, but at, at the only cost that you don't get the benefit of that extra turn to the third, the skill three, basically. That's kind of cool. That's I do see something here about um, effects uh, being changed here for Assassin and Hark. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, so the wind Awakening assassin for wind assassin is from resistance, which again, it just makes no sense having a yeah, damage yeah, unit, sure, right? Why sure. would you get a resistance? It goes to crit rate. Good. Now you can actually use it and do more damage. Uh, again, yeah. bring, going back to YD, YD literally used that thing like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like every Guild Wars video used it. It looks like the other one here is Windhark. I mean, he's always been a fun cleanser, old school, old school raid, yeah, you know, so cleanser back in the no. day. But he gets 15 attack speed to his, to his base, so I mean, pretty good speed. I wonder what it is now. It, it, their speeds weren't never bad. They just never were amazing. But if you get plus 15, it's uh, it, it's quite nice. It's 120. It's, uh, it's 120? It's 120. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's pretty nice. fast. Doesn't he get a speed buff as well? Uh... Yeah. Wait, yeah. No. No. But he I reduces, he reduces ATB of the enemy. I mean, 120 base speed will always find a use case somewhere. That's basically it for the balance patch. Okay, but I mean, definitely some... Uh, 
some cool nerfs and uh, some cool changes that uh, you know we'll probably try some content soon. I, uh, two things that stand out to me is uh, damage Josephine. We yeah, see yeah, 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 that's gonna be cool. Right? Damage, as well as uh, seeing how much maybe how, how much damage the the Dark Phantom Thief actually does. So maybe you guys will see both of those coming up in some videos, or maybe even in the same video. Just do a little do, do a little fun damage test video. Kind of kind yeah. of see how it goes. Aside from that, there has been a new Summoner's War. Yeah, there has been uh, Summoner's War Chronicles. That's what everybody's been talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll hop on that bandwagon as well and test it out, give our first thoughts and impressions, and check it out. Uh, more information soon. I'll let you guys know. Um, I know you guys just want to see more content and see us kind of hanging out, vibing out. But one of the things I did notice about Summoners War Chronicles mm -hmm. is it's been bringing a lot of people back. Yeah, back yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got Fwa. I think I saw OMG Bomber. It's just yeah. Like, like, everybody's like, dude, I saw back, OMG dude. Bomber's stream. I was Bro. like, holy crap. Yeah, Clay's so playing know, it man. again as well. And so if, if everybody's coming back, that's what's got me excited. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, a yeah. cool game, a good game, sure, whatever. I don't, I don't know. But bringing everybody back, that's that sounds like a lot of fun. So yeah, yeah, really for excited sure. for that. But um, yeah, Siri, thank you for taking the time, man, no to worries. update me, keep me up to date all the time with these uh, balance patches. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the balance patch. Maybe some of the things that we kind of uh, glanced through. Maybe some of the exciting things that you're interested in. I'd love to hear about it down below. Mm -hmm. Right, see what we missed on. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe. We're currently uh, on our way to 100,000. We're gonna see if we can rebuild the momentum and uh, see if we can get there. But um, yeah, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and uh, look forward to some more cool videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.